So within Black Myth Wukong, there comes a point where you have to take on the Chapter 2 main boss of the Yellow Wind Sage to progress on to Chapter 3. The boss is kind of difficult, but did you know there's a secret item, a secret legendary item you can get which makes this encounter easier. The item is called the Wind Tamer and you get this from a secret boss you uncover after doing a few jobs for a random boy you can find perched up. Along the way you also get some other great items including the insect armor. Now if you are yet to face off against the yellow wind sage boss, I really recommend you doing this and getting this item as it uncovers more about this boss as well as one of the major weapons in his arsenal. Plus it's an item that will definitely help you out. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and I'm giving away a copy of Black Myth Wukong so if you want to win one for yourself or even a friend it's as simple as this, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed the more I see you active on my Black Myth videos the more of a chance you have of winning I'll pick one winner from the comment section of my videos and announce them at the end of the week so good luck everybody so on your hunt for the wind tamer you actually guys work with the yellow wind sage and fight together against a secret boss which is cool but we'll come to that soon. Firstly guys so where this all starts you want to come to the fright cliff rock rest flat shrine. From here follow the path I take on the screen now to find this ball. Now upon you talking to him, he requests an item called the Sovereign Stone. So let's go grab this. So as you progress through chapter 2, you'll eventually come to Crouching Tiger Temple, the Temple Entrance Shrine. This is a shrine you first come to before taking on the Tiger Vanguard, who is a boss you must clear to progress. So yes, you have to get through this guy, so do what you gotta do. So upon you taking him out, you can now place the keyness of Tiger upon that statue which unveils the path to the Yellow Wind Sage. But that isn't the path we're going to take today or to get that Sovereign Stone. We need to travel past this statue and up onto that next shrine at the top of this hill. The shrine is called the Yellow Wind Formation Windrest Bridge. So from this shrine guys take the path I take on screen now to the Sobering Stone. Now I've cleared out a lot of the enemies here to make this guide easier to follow but there will be a few enemies you will have to take out to progress and get this item but nothing too hard at all. So once you have the Sobering Stone, you now need to head back to that boar. Again found in the same place, so from the Fright Cliff Rockrest Flat Shrine, head to him. Upon you coming to him, clear out his dialogue. He then guys will move position, you have to go find him again. So from here guys, you want to head back to the Crouching Tiger Temple, Temple Entrance Shrine, where he can be found just nearby. Up 
currently talking to him here, he now requests for you to bring him a jade lotus. Now this is an item you can find in many places and odds are you probably already have one. But if you don't, the quickest way to do this is to buy one from a shrine store. Simple as that. If this isn't good enough for you, you've already brought them and you don't have any left, they can normally be found via bodies of water. So near the star chapter 2. So upon you giving him this jade lotus, he will then move position back to his original area. So again guys, head back to that Fright Cliff Rockerest Flat Shrine. From here guys, when you go into his area, where he's normally found, he's to the right hand side now, where you actually have to fight him. To be honest, it's an easy fight, you shouldn't be struggling with whatsoever. So upon you taking him out, he leads you up this path and through this door, where once you go through it, you will encounter a cinematic. Now upon you watching this cinematic or even skipping the cinematic you spawn in here. Now here you just want to run forward and trigger that shrine, the secret kingdom of Salhali or the Sand Gate Pass Shrine. So from this shrine guys you now want to push forward and around this corner. Here you will encounter another, a different variant of the Tiger Vanguard. And here you do have to take him out, but it's a much, much easier fight than the other Tiger Vanguard, so you shouldn't have any problems here. Now upon you taking him out, you are rewarded the Tiger Tally, pretty cool item. You then guys want to push onto that next shrine of the Kingdom of Sahali, Sangate, Bound. Okay, so from here, push forward and you'll encounter the Yellow Wind Sage and you'll get another cinematic. You best get my vanguard. Now after the cinematic it leads you on to fighting Fuban, a giant beetle like insect boss. So this is one of the easiest boss fights I've done in this game. He is big, slow and so easy to fight against. Now upon you getting his health down to about half, the yellow wind sage will begin to play those drums. Uh, where upon you getting back into this encounter, you have to climb on top of this insect and grab that wind tamer. The Yellow Wind Sage then joins you in battle where you now have to finish off this Fuban boss. Now upon you doing this guys you are then rewarded the Wind Tamer and then you can go ahead and craft that insect armor. Now more about this armor, it requires cold iron leaves which by the way are commonly found in chapter 3. So it's probably best to wait until you get to chapter 3 before you start crafting this. But there we have it guys, that is how you get the Wind Tamer and legendary item. It's a weapon you should have or an item you should have at your disposal when you come up against a yellow wind sage boss because it really helps out. And there we have it for another video. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.